The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. Hugh Leon McCall Jr. was born in Bennettsville, South Carolina on June 8, 1935 and was the driving force behind the creation of the first coast-to-coast -coast superbank, Bank of America. Hugh McCall Jr. came from a family of bankers, but during his childhood, his father would own controlling interest in the Marlboro Trust Company and become a cotton farmer on the side. Daddy put us to work early, and he taught me double entry bookkeeping in the cotton company. I kept books for the family farming business and for the cotton company when I was 14. As a result, young McCall was well-versed in accounting, math, and finance, leading him to ace these courses during his college days at UNC Chapel Hill. Serving two years in the U.S. Marine Corps after college, he would land a job in 1959 at American Commercial Bank based in Charlotte, North Carolina. One year later, this top banking institution would be renamed North Carolina National Bank. Very early on, the, the first chairman that I worked for was Allison Reese. He saw that we had to build the company as large as we could to compete with Wachovia. Wachovia was the biggest bank in the state. So he began to build the bank through mergers. He was succeeded by Tom Storrs, who was a brilliant man, had a PhD in economics and a great thinker. And he very quickly saw that if we didn't get out of North Carolina, we were going to die. And so he began a long march to try to get us out of this uh, state. During the Great Depression, legislation was enacted prohibiting bank expansion across state lines. Modern customers created the demand for nationwide financial services, and through a string of strategic acquisitions, NCNB would evolve into Nations Bank in 1991. Stores and I together in the early 80s expanded in Florida as quickly as we could, but we knew we had to get the law changed, and what we really did different from anybody else is we went to Washington we tried with George Bush uh, Sr., and he tried to help us, but he couldn't deliver. But Bill Clinton did deliver, and we changed the law that then allowed us to buy banks across state lines. One thing led to another, and we were more aggressive than anybody else because we had the vision of building a coast-to-coast -coast company. We had a very simple litany. We wanted to go to the large and fast-growing markets, get a dominant market share, and then build off our existing infrastructure, and that was just a plan, and we did that. We had the audacity, I guess, for instance, when we were Nations Bank to think we could buy the Bank of America, and of course we did. After seven years and the acquisition of California-based Bank America Corporation, the first coast-to-coast -coast bank, Bank of America, was born. I had a good South Carolinian is, uh, in Hootie Johnson, who was the chair of my executive committee, and he shared the same vision of building a statewide, I mean a nationwide company. So I had good board too, had a very good board of directors. Been close buddies for a, a long, long time, since he was probably 25 and I was 30. But he is a fast, loyal friend. Uh, when he's with you, he's with you 100%. The whole time I was there, Hugh McCall was the CEO. And I don't know of any company who was as influenced by its CEO top to bottom and inside out, so all the way through the fiber of the company and into the customers, as our company was with his leadership. We were constantly acquiring, therefore we were constantly restructuring and shifting people and lines of business and things like that. I mean, it was 24-hour engagement, I guess you would say. Yeah, I ended up getting heart trouble and diabetes out of it, eating too many donuts on airplanes flying and drinking too much scotch, I'm sure, being under tension all the time. We had the stomach for the risk, I guess is really the truth. You know, I think that I am, I guess, the proudest of what I've done in the city as opposed to the banking business. I think that our company, and certainly I have a hand in it, shaped this city and stimulating its growth, making it a more interesting place to live. From everything from the arts to sports to 
you name it. I like looking out the window. I used to think about it like a, a, a blank sheet of paper and try to paint on it what I thought should be on it. You know, I'm very fired up about getting trains to go out to UNCC and I, I hope to Davidson at some point and ultimately to Monroe. I think we can move a lot of people by train and it's good ecologically and it's faster and it, it also keeps your city healthy because the workers can come to the jobs. I never could have imagined growing up that I would end up having the life that I've had. It's been very enriching and I've, ha I've had the opportunity and, and the ability to do many, many things. Thank you.